February 29th. It's time to plant. This mulch went down in September, October. I haven't looked underneath it, so we're going to reveal to see what we have underneath this. To plant potatoes, you just dig back. And you see how wet that is? How beautiful and wet that is underneath? You dig it down until you get to dirt. See how soft that is? That has worms. It's been Where'd you go? You dig it down to the dirt. See how soft that is? We've had worms just cruising through this all winter long. And I just saw one and I buried him again. You just pull the leaves apart. Just pull the leaves away. And Ruth's method, she just stood there and dropped them. I'm going to be a little more precise than that. The potatoes are uh, saying they're ready to go. I'm going to put a couple potatoes side by side. Got to mark my rows or I'll forget where I planted them. Mark your rows, cover them up, you're done. Move down a little bit, pull the leaves back till you get to the dirt. Beautiful and moist and soft. Drop a potato, drop a potato. Cover it up. Let's talk about soil health. Talk a little bit about soil. Prepping it, there's three or four different ways. The old fashioned way of gardening. Till it up, put it in furrows, plant some seeds down the center of it, water it out of a ditch, weeds grow, you hoe it. The no-till methods, there's several different kinds that I, I've looked at. I've landed on sort of a hybrid of my own. A popular no-till method is a hugel culture. But if you don't want to do a lot of work in no-till, that's the hardest one. You dig a trench, you put logs in it, then you start backfilling it with dirt, and then you do layers of hay and leaves and other organic material until you have a mound. And as that breaks down, it feeds the roots. It's very you can be very successful with it, but it's a lot of prep work to begin with. Ruth Stout, which I've talked about before, she just used hay. Fall leaves, you just use leaves. Back to Eden, you just use wood chips. No matter what type you're gonna use, the whole key is to smother out the grass and smother out the weeds. If you till this in, the weeds come to the surface and they'll grow. I used grass clippings last year. I expect to have a little bit of uh, seed germinate on top, which will be no big deal. The roots won't go down. You don't plant in this stuff. This is just the mulch on top. The key to no-till is smothering out the grass. Ruth Stout, when they ask her, how much do you put down? Her answer was more. So, it's more. And that's all there is to it. Tater, bear, you were right. This was a beautiful weekend to put potatoes in the ground. Still think it's a little early, but with this method, if it looks like it's gonna freeze or frost between now and April 1st, put some more leaves on them, add a little insulation, they'll be fine. We'll see what we get. We'll follow these and everything else that I plant throughout the year. I hope you keep joining me. And there you go. Just crawling with worms. The entire garden.